Hey there, Curious Minds. Welcome back to the Curious Minds. Today, we're on an exciting safari adventure, exploring the magnificent zebras. These black and white striped beauties roam the African plains in majestic herds. But there's one question that keeps puzzling people. Why can't we ride zebras like we do horses? Saddle up your curiosity because we're about to unravel the fascinating reasons behind this zebra riding mystery. Built for speed, not stability, a zebra's body breakdown. Imagine trying to ride a bouncy beach ball. That's kind of what riding a zebra would be like. Zebras have a different body structure compared to horses. Their backs are shorter and straighter, not designed for comfortably supporting a rider's weight. Think of a horse's strong back and prominent withers, the ridge between their shoulder blades. These features provide a stable platform for riders. So while zebras might seem majestic, their bodies are simply not built for the comfort and control needed for horseback riding. Wild hearts don't take saddles, untaming the zebra spirit. Unlike their domesticated cousins, horses' zebras are wild animals with a fierce independence. Imagine trying to train a wild mustang. That's the challenge of taming a zebra. Horses have been domesticated for thousands of years, undergoing a selection process that favored calmness and trainability. Zebras, however, retain their wild instincts and can be quite aggressive. This makes them difficult and dangerous to tame for riding purposes. Stripes don't mean hello rider. Zebra communication decoded. Zebras have a complex communication system using body language and vocalizations. Imagine a zebra kicking its heels and letting out a loud bark. That's not exactly a welcoming invitation for a rider. Their stripes might look cool, but they also play a role in communication. The zebra's unique pattern might confuse predators and help them stay together in herds. A rider on their back would likely disrupt this communication and potentially put both zebra and rider in danger. History's Hoof Prints, Debunking Zebra Riding Myths Believe it or not, there have been attempts to ride zebras throughout history. Imagine a Roman emperor trying to ride a zebra chariot. Not a successful endeavor. These attempts often ended in injury for both rider and zebra, highlighting the difficulties of taming these wild animals. While some zebras might have been semi-tamed for short periods, they were never successfully domesticated for riding on a large scale. Horses for Courses the special bond between horses and humans. So while zebras might not be our riding companions, horses have filled that role for centuries. Horses have been selectively bred for strength, temperament, and a willingness to work alongside humans. This special bond has allowed us to use horses for transportation, work, and even leisure activities like horseback riding. Horses and humans have developed a unique partnership that has enriched both our lives. Zebras might not be our riding buddies, but they're fascinating creatures with a vital role in the African ecosystem. The Curious Minds hope this episode sparked your curiosity about these amazing animals. Remember, the animal world is full of surprises. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting adventures with the Curious Minds.